so in a pressure cooker i took tur dal and i took some peanuts and i have some garlic and three green chili so i took one cup dal so i am going to add two cups of water uh, how much the quantity of dal you took uh, please take a t- double amount of water and uh, soak it for 10 minutes and then put it on the gas so i'll see you when the dal is cooked so now i'll put this on the gas and give it four whistles depending on your cooker how much time does it take to prepare dal this is going to be just the normal dal so our dal is cooked now we are going to give it a tadka so for that we need this is ginger garlic green chili and coriander paste which i made previously this is chopped onion some cilantro uh this is mustard seed the small mustard seed this curry leaf so this is garam masala this is red chili powder according to taste only if you like spicy you can go with it uh this is coriander powder and i have two spoon of uh, desiccated coconut so yes in this recipe we need desiccated coconut and then we need hing or asafoetida turmeric very important we need little turmeric and spinach So I'm using the baby spinach over here. So let's get. So in a pan, I already added. Now the mustard seed are crackling. I'm going to add in the curry leaves. So I'm going to break the curry leaves with my hand. Just be careful because it will splatter all over. Now do the onion. Let it cook. So you're getting a nice smell of the ghee and onion and curry leaves. the onion has started to get brown so i'm going to add in the coconut powder to it and saute it just a little bit now i'll add in the ginger garlic green chili and coriander in the coriander the garam masala coriander leaf uh, sorry coriander leaf coriander masala garam masala chili and mix okay. now i'm going to add in the spinach too these are baby spinach so i've rinsed it already I'm not going to chop it or cut it or anything. I'm just going to add it. Add.
Now to maintain this green color of the spinach so that the spinach be green, I'm going to add in the turmeric. I'm going to add in the acetate. Not much, little bit. This much is not enough. Now your goes in the cook dark. If you like thick dal, then this is the proper consistency of thick dal. You can go ahead and close the gas and eat it as is. Or you can add in some water if you like it a little thick way. Because after cooling, this dal will thicken more. So I'm going to add a little water to it. Mix it and let it boil. Tastes really good, and your kids will also eat it. They won't have an issue eating it. get one boil. Let me check the salt. So here is our spinach dal with rice and topped with ghee. So guys please try it and do let me know. Here's the final outcome. It's really simple and really yummy in taste. So do try it and do let me know. See you later. Bye.